Hey guys, welcome on into today's video where we're going to be showing you how to hook up your Google Home device through an application on your phone so you can start utilizing your device and getting the most out of it. So you can see here I'm recording the screen of my particular smartphone, but the first thing you're going to want to do as soon as you open up the box that your device comes in, you're going to want to plug it in to the wall and make sure that the cord is hooked in to the device itself and that should kind of launch its initial boot phase and then after it does that you can open up your smartphone device and then open up your app store if you're on an iphone or your google play store if you're on an android device so i'm going to click that here at the top left hand corner open up my play store and then in the search bar you're going to want to look for the google home app so that's what i'm going to type in google home and then you can see it's popped up right there so i'm going to click on it once you get to the Google Home application page, you're going to click to install it. And as soon as it's done installing, it should pop up a little icon somewhere on your uh, home screen area. One of these particular pages should have this little icon here that looks like a house with four different colors. If it doesn't show up for you on any of your uh, different screens on your device, what you can do is open up your top area of your phone and it should have a little notification saying something like Google Home has finished installing and if you click on that it should launch the app as well. So those are a couple different ways that you can get access to it. Also, as you can see on the bottom right hand corner of my phone, I have a little applications icon that I can click on and the little icon for the Google Home application should also be in this area on one of these particular pages. Uh, as you can see for me, it's in the bottom left-hand corner of this particular uh, spot in the Applications menu. But once you find that, you're going to launch it. And I've already set up my particular device, but as soon as you launch, Google is going to work you through what's a pretty simple process in getting it set up with your device. It's gonna ask you things like, are you hooked into your Wi-Fi right now? And does the device have permission to get access to it? And that's gonna be the way that your phone is gonna be able to find your Google Home device and hook into it. Also, whatever account that you're logged into on your phone, for me, it's my Gmail account. It's gonna ask you if you wanna link up with that particular account to be the sign-in and kind of the memory and storage for all of your different uh, applications and things that you're going to end up putting on your Google Home device. And then it's going to eventually work you to a screen that just has you speaking some different things to kind of get the device to recognize your particular voice. It's going to ask you to say things like, hey, Google, or um, hi, Google, or things like that to wake up the device. And then after you get through all of that, at the end, it's going to have different options for you to kind of hook up accounts that you have for different things. So for me, I hooked up my Pandora sign-in account so that I can play Pandora music through this device and just other things like that that you potentially might have different accounts for that you can hook up to your Google Home device to get the most utilization out of it. And then after all of that, as you can see, I'm on the final page here. That's the Welcome Home page. And this is going to get you uh, the area where you can discover and browse different things or just see... Uh, different things that you've been able to utilize on your device if you're just on this page after you've been using it for a while. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Again, a quick uh, wrap up at the end of this video. As soon as you unbox your device, plug it in, make sure it goes through that initial boot phase, then open up your smartphone, go to your app store or your play store, download the Google Home app, find the app, open it up, and then go through the step-by-step -step process. Very straightforward to get everything working and going on your device. I'd say that whole process maybe took me two minutes or less to do. So we're not talking about something that's extremely complicated, at least if you're able to somewhat uh, find your way around your phone and install the app, launch it, and get going through all of those different stages. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. After this, I'm gonna be making some other videos showing you how to utilize some of the different functions on your device. So if you wanna check those out, uh, you can access those videos over at our YouTube channel. So thanks for stopping on in, guys, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.